Greetings. Uh, today is Saturday the 12th of May 2018 and I'm currently sitting in a pub called The Beacon and The Beacon is located in Wellington which is part of Telford and it's where the English Defence League march has happened or happening or yeah I've already recorded two videos of raw footage um, both videos last about 20 minutes each and this video is more like my final thoughts on what has happened today. I know I already said some final thoughts in the previous video, but I figured just um, yeah, try and get out a bit more focused, if you will. Um, this whole EDL march, in my opinion, is complete and utter washout. Um, say what you want about the English Defence League what I'm about to say is strictly based on what I saw today and today only and they're a bunch of twats I mean they came along set up a stage um, and if you're going to set up a stage, obviously that means you're going to have speakers. If you're going to have speakers, if you're going to have people giving talking to the crowd, you want to make sure well, that person is heard can, and that the audience can hear them. But nobody spoke today. There were no speakers. So what was the point in setting up the stage? As I found out, um, the generator used to power their PA system broke down and because of that no one spoke now to me that sounds like EDL have zero organisation skills completely fuck all, they can't get organised because if you're going to go through all the effort to set up an event like today, you want to make sure the generator works, that the PA system works, that people can actually stand up and speak speak with a microphone and everything the fact, and also on top of that, you also want to have a plan B in case something breaks down, in case your main method of talking breaks down, you'll have a plan B, have another setup to make sure people can still stand up and speak. But plan A failed, there was no plan B, which meant there was no speakers. So, yeah, their organisational skills, clearly, at best, failed, at worst, there weren't any in the first place and you have to question their motivations what kind of, they clearly were not very motivated about this event because if they were motivated about this event then it would not have failed they would have organised themselves to make sure they could have gotten up and given their speeches but no, because we didn't have a plan B or because things broke down, because no one actually got and spoke, it's like, the logistics they put into this event failed at best. On the other hand, their logistics at worst were non-existent. So what was the point of doing this? If you really care, it doesn't matter if you've got something to say it doesn't matter if it's a popular opinion 
or the most unpopular opinion in the world, if you care enough to get up and say whatever you want to say about your opinion, then you make sure your message gets out in a legitimate, professional manner. You come up, you dress smart, you behave yourself, you make sure your tech, you make sure that any technology you bring with you works. Or if it fails, make sure you've got plan B. But the EDL didn't have anything. We just came up, waved a couple of flags, and shouted abuse back at anyone who was shouting abuse at them. It was ridiculous. Like it was the old. I mean, by now you should see. You should see the footage. It was complete piss poor event. It was a washout. It was a no show. It was pathetic. Let's be honest. Barely anyone turned up. Whenever you hear the words EDL on the march, you expect 100, 200, 300, maybe more people turn up. West Mercia Police put out a tw- uh, put out a message on Twitter saying that by their count, no more than 50 EDL people turned up. <coughs> From what I saw, I'd be surprised if any more than 25 people turned up. But yeah. The EDL were pathetic. They were a washout. Complete and utter. Uh, no organisation, no logistics, no planning at all went into this event, as far as I can tell. Nothing. And it, to me, it was sheer, it was completely obvious that no planning went into this event. No, at least no significant planning with any meaningful, meaningful structure. None of that. Um, and their motivation, as I said a minute ago, was completely lacklustre, completely pathetic. Because if they were actually motivated about what they were doing, then they would have made effort. No effort was done. No effort was done. If they were really motivated about this, then they would have put some actual effort into the logistics and planning. Yeah, like I say, none of that happens now. The EDL people, I've got no respect for, no, I cannot take them. Based on what I saw today, I cannot take the EDL seriously. Never. And I've got zero reason to respect them. Yeah, They're, when it comes to being an organisation that is actually organised, they're shit. Flat out shit. So yeah, no respect for them. The anti-EDL people, I don't know how many of them turn up, but at least they were organised. Because... They were the first people to... The EDL turned up late. As far as I can tell, they turned up late. The anti-EDL people, they turned up early. And I think they're still here as well. Now, there was, I'd say, about 30... Somewhere between 30 and 50 anti-EDL people turned up. And they're still here. They'll probably still be here for a couple more hours doing their thing. And they were, orga- they were quite clearly organised. Because uh, they stayed in their group. Mostly behaved themselves. They were okay. They had their message. They had their signs. They had a message that he put out. They were... New- they, had- they were clearly motivated to be here. They were clearly organised to be there, here. They clearly set into place the logistics required to be here. 
And so, at least as far as today is concerned, I do have some respect for the anti-EDR crowd because they made an effort to turn up, get the job done, give their message out and do what they did. It's that simple, really. So I'm impressed with what I saw with the anti-EDO crowd. I am not impressed with what I saw with the English Defence League themselves. Uh, and I do have respect for West Mercia Police for doing their jobs and keeping the peace. So anyhow, that's my more focused and more coherent final thoughts about today. Uh, thank you for taking time to watch the three videos um, I've now put on YouTube for it all. Um, they are three separate videos because I cannot edit. I don't know how and I don't have the tools to edit. Um, so apologies about that and even more thank yous for going through it all. So yeah. Thank you and goodbye.